Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Astrid. I do post every Tuesdays and Saturdays. So today's video, I was thinking of doing a 10 tips for moms or slash parents in 2022. So if you're interested in listening to those 10 tips, then keep on watching. All right guys, so yeah, so I came up with 10 tips uh, for moms slash parents in 2022. Um, just because I thought that we always need more tips when it comes to parenthood and all that stuff. So I thought I'd make a little list. So number one is don't worry about the little stuff. Um, I felt like when I was, especially when I was a first time mom, I would always worry about the little things. And now having three kids, I now notice that worrying about the little things don't really matter, you know? Um, if this is not where it's supposed to be or this is or that, like don't beat yourself over it. Don't like worry about the little stuff. The list guys, it's not in really like any order. Number two is don't compare yourself to other moms or if you're a dad, don't, comp don't compare yourself to other dads and don't compare your kids with other people's kids um, just because I feel like it's really a waste of time. <laughs> um, I've even caught myself doing it, like especially when I was um, a first time mom with Brantley. Um, I would always see how other moms would be like, oh yeah, my kid you know, started crawling at this time or started walking at this time or potty training at this time, you know, and Brantley wasn't there yet or, or you know, every kid is going to be different. Every mom is going to be different. Every dad's going to be different. So just to save yourself some agony, don't compare yourself to other people or moms, you know. Three is the house doesn't need to be spotless. Um, and I saw the post about this the other day on Facebook that said something along the lines of you know, you have kids, your house is going to look like it has kids. It doesn't have to be spotless. So I thought that was a good one just because, you know, I feel like nowadays um, if your house isn't spotless or, you know, if your house doesn't look a certain way, um, I feel like a lot of people judge you, you know, don't worry about the messiness, you know, um, they're going to grow up soon. And before you know it, they're going to be out of the house and, you know, you're going to miss those days where the house was messy, you know. I thought my Brantley is six and he's not, you know, he's not big, but he's bigger, you know, he's getting, he's almost going to be seven this year and kind of understand that, that, you know, saying that says, don't worry, don't worry about the mess because, you know, they're going to grow up soon and you're going to wish that they were still there, you know? Anyways, number four is uh, never turn down help, <laughs> especially like if you have a newborn and you're tired and you know people come over family members friends they're like oh can we wash the dishes for you or you know do this watch the baby so you can take a shower i feel like never turn down help even if they're not newborns if they're just you know you know older toddlers and stuff um never turn down help you know if people ask you know to help you you know take the help you know never say never because you know it's gonna help a lot even though if it you think it's not and you're like oh no they're gonna judge or something like who cares you know you're the one that's you know paying the bills taking care of your kids you know like don't worry about it just never turn down number five is you never not have enough pictures and I feel like my phone is always like I always have to buy like the extra storage just because I have a lot of pictures on my phone and my kids and all that stuff like you know like I said they're gonna grow up soon and you're gonna wish that you had pictures of them you know or even videos and stuff so you, you never have enough pictures so this was a good one. So number six is never let other people say you're parenting wrong just because you're not doing it the way that they're doing it. Um, you know, you're the mom, you're the dad, you're the parent. You could decide how you're going to parent your kids and all that. And don't, you know, beat yourself over it, you know. Uh, number seven is spend as much quality time with them, um, you know, that they're kids and they always ask, you know, for the you to play with them again i said they're gonna grow up fast and before you know it they're gonna be teenagers and i you know everybody knows how teenagers are they don't want to be touched by mom they don't want to be hugged by mom they just want to be with their friends um so spend as much quality time um with them when they're little that way you don't regret you know not having enough time with them or playing with them enough so number eight is this one's more for moms and more about breastfeeding um i was fortunate enough to breastfeed all three of my kids number eight is don't beat yourself up about breastfeeding like um if you're a new mom or even if you're you know the baby's a little bit bigger and if you're not comfortable with it if you know you're not producing enough or 
you know, for any reason that you don't want to, or don't need to, or don't, you can't, don't beat yourself over it. Like, as long as your baby is being fed and happy and healthy, that's all that matters. Moms, don't worry about breastfeeding. Your babies still love you. Um, so if you have to use a bottle, um, if you have to um, tube feed, you know, that's fine. Number nine is, um, this is something that we, sh I feel like I'm working on myself too. And I feel like every mom or parent should as well, is taking care of your mental health. Like if you're not feeling well and you're down, go, you know, go talk to somebody, you know? And because if you're not healthy and, you know, happy, like your kids see that and it affects them. You don't want your kids to see you go through that. And it's just, you know, it's bad for you and your babies. Last but not least, is I feel like this is a good, really good one to be the last one. Uh, and I put, no mom is perfect, so don't try to be perfect. You know, everybody's different. Everybody's kids is, kids are different. Nobody's perfect at knowing how to parent. Nobody's perfect on how to, you know, showing your kids how to do this the proper way or, you know, stuff like that. Um, so don't beat yourself over if you're not doing the same thing as your friend or your, you know, your family member. Don't beat yourself over it. Pretty sure they aren't perfect either, so you aren't perfect, nobody's perfect. Nobody should be judge each other, and yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, those little 10 tips for you guys. Um, Cause I feel like we all need it. Every mom, every dad, every parent. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post every Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, like this video and comment. Um, if you guys have any questions, new ideas for videos, just comment down below as well. If you guys have any tips for me as well, um, anything that you guys want to add, just comment down below as well. I'd be happy to hear them. And yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful Tuesday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.